Hello everyone, it's the Batman Statue Collector and I'm once again back up in the Batcave for another review and this one of course is the one-third scale Bane from Arkham Origins and it's brought to us by Prime One Studio and truth be told I've actually filmed a video already I've already done a review on this guy I had done all the details, I had talked about it um, I had lots to say um, but I have decided to film it over again and there is a reason for that and I will get into that here real shortly okay but let's go ahead and get into the review I'm gonna start with the base like always uh, again a great base is painted well there's not a lot of paint variations it's basically that light color the same as you're gonna get on the other Arkham Origins bases I do feel like it is a little bit lighter than uh, the Arkham Knight bases I think they're a little bit darker gray these tend to be a little bit lighter in my opinion but uh, great detailing here with the uh, bat, uh, bat logo here uh, again these nice details here you see these on all of the Arkham Origin bases uh, so that looks really nice uh, this is also a, a detail I love these wings here let me get out of the shadow these wings here are very similar to the ones over there on Noel so I like that they kind of tie in elements of the bases together I think that's really cool uh, as we spin this guy around you're gonna notice great detailing I love this guy I wish actually I wish he was on the front because you don't see him from the side very much but I love it uh, this piece here, this tall piece, is a uh, an add-on uh, held in by a magnet. Uh, the seam line here is right there. I uh, don't notice it at all, but I, the thing that's cool about it is it's you can tell that this is where the top of the base was supposed to be. The Bane has obviously crushed it, um, and so it looks really cool. I like that this is back here. It's not a, a big detail, you notice, from the front, but you can kind of see it, so I think it's just a nice touch. Uh, this is also a cool touch here. This is part of the, the black part of the base here, um, which all of, the, all of the statues, this is Harley Quinn, they have the black part. Here they have the black part. The thing I like about this is they actually crushed this part too uh, to make it look like it's part of the crushed base. It's something you'll never notice because it's back in the back, but I just think that's a cool detail that Prime One put in there. Really cool. So as we go around, you're going to notice very similar to the other side. A little bit different this one's a little taller than the other side but looks great um, overall I think um, as we move up to the actual figure itself these boots are massive um, everything that I have with prime one is very well painted if I have to nitpick at all would be the silver areas um, to me the silver areas almost kind of look like they are kind of like spray painted on uh, it kind of has that that sheen like spray paint does um, I feel like maybe some of the shading could have been done just maybe a little bit better on the gray areas I feel like maybe some of the paint I just maybe it's just the paint they use I don't know but the, some of the some of the silver areas don't look as great as some of their other pieces in my opinion um, I, I just don't know what it is about it but uh, it's just that's just uh, what I notice what it kind of stands out to me I think from afar it looks great uh, again great detailing I think all of this looks good um, all of the the fabric elements uh, well these aren't actual fabric it's all sculpted but it's meant to be fabric so all of these elements look really good they're shading in throughout here so everything looks great uh, great detailing as we go up up the top of the statue here um, these canisters look great uh, one thing I really like on the pants, if you'll notice, that this area here is, is kind of a mat, and then the front of the pants, where it's got these puffy parts, are all very glossy. Hopefully the camera can kind of pick that up, but that looks really well done. Uh, just really cool. Uh, as we go up again, you're going to notice detailings here. A lot of silver, like I said. this uh, To me, this silver looks a little bit better than the silver down below all right so now as we move up we're gonna see some of the uh, the arm elements here amazing paint throughout here um, there are some areas on this statue that I think they could have maybe improved on the skin a little bit uh, but I feel like this arm in particular looks really good uh, again this is the part um, where it comes off um, so you can kind of see what that looks like uh, where it actually joins in with the tube really nice strong magnet there uh, no issues whatsoever but again he just looks good there again the top half this is where the magic happens really is this top half on this guy um, great detailing I think that again where the silver area is I think it doesn't look as good as it could I may actually go in some of these areas and try to fill them in a little bit better with the black um, 
because I just don't think that that looks quite as good, but then like, you know, you see this, and this camo detailing is just absolutely amazing. I have no idea how Prime One does this. I don't know if it's paint or if it's some sort of decal method, I don't know, but man, look how good that looks. I mean, just detailing all around looks really cool. Um, the second arm here, I'll show you there. Um, I feel like some of the some of the gray areas again could be painted maybe just a little bit better, but everything else looks pretty good. Uh, the hands on this uh, this side particularly, um, they just there's just no real texture. It's just kind of a flat um, skin color here. I think that they maybe could have done just a little bit if I'm if I'm nitpicking here. Uh, but this is a thousand dollar statue, so you know I. I could see maybe some speckling here with some skin color, some skin texture. I know that they've done a better job on some of the other ones. Um, but again, lots of detail. These tubes are amazing. They, I mean, they really do look like they're lit up when the sun catches them, when the lights catch them. They really do look like they're, uh, you know, LEDs in there or something. Um, so I'm very impressed with that. Uh, let me just kind of spin him around here. Again, good shading, especially on the front. The back is, you know, again, there's, I think there might be a little bit of shading, but it's just, there's not a ton of shading here in the this area. I think where the big veins are, you can really, let me get it around here. Like where they are, they actually, you know, they have white, kind of this white cream color here. So <clears throat> this is where the other um, bicep cuts off there. So if you watch my unboxing video, you will have noticed that. Uh, here, this, this is the thing that frustrates me about this piece, is it's got this amazing back. I mean, look how great that looks. It looks phenomenal, all this detailing in here, but you don't see it. You know, it's on the back. So it's, it's, it's disappointing because it's just such a wasted detail, uh, in my opinion, or at least in my display. Uh, no one's ever going to see that. So it's, it's like, it's frustrating to me. But anyway, there's the back detail there. And we'll go back to that front arm again where we started. And now we'll go up to, again, the front detailing here. Lots of detail here. All these wires and hoses. Um, again, some of this detailing here with the silver. It's just kind of that flat silver. Um, you know, there's not a lot of extra paint or shading. So I wish that they would have maybe done just a little bit more on that. Um, and I'm, again, I'm just trying to be honest with you guys. Uh, again, this is the one of three head sculpts. So I'll go ahead and take this guy off here so you can see how big he is in the size of my hand. Um, everything looks good paint-wise. No issues there whatsoever. So that looks really good in my opinion. So again, this is what he looks like with that regular head. Okay, just kind of that scowl. This run right here is my second favorite okay the next one is the angry grimacing head and i'll put it on there for you so you can kind of see what that looks like now i think this is the head that most people will probably probably display him with this is actually my least favorite um i don't know what it is about this particular head but i just i don't know it to me it kind of feels cartoony um i don't really know why um but it might grow on me, but I just, this, this one is, is probably my least favorite uh, compared to the, the one I just showed you. But again, all the paint looks good. Detailing looks great. Um, looks good. All right, so last but certainly not least, let me show you the last head. Now this, of course, is the unmasked head. And it's just amazing. The texture, like this is all textured here. Um, paint looks really good. Um, the people I've shown this statue to, uh, they really like this head. And it surprises a lot of people. Uh, whenever I first got this statue, I, I said, you know, this is something that I will never, ever display. But believe it or not, this is my favorite, guys. This is my favorite head. Um, I think it looks great. Um, the problem is, is that, you know, when people come up here, they're going to have no idea who he is uh, without this mask. But whenever I'm just looking at it myself, uh, I might use this head a little bit more. Um, I don't know what it is about the head, but I just think it looks um, really well done. Really well done. 
and it gives him maybe a little bit more character. Um, you know, he's not hiding behind that mask. And so I think that might make a difference for me. Um, but again, I just, I just really think that it, it goes well. Sorry, I'm trying to put those other heads down so I can spin this. Um, but I just think it goes really well. Um, the only thing here is there is, you know, of course, it's skin on skin. So there is a, a slight seam there. But whenever you're displaying it from the front, I mean, it's not like, it's not as, as blatant as um, the Killer Croc was. But anyway, I think this, this head is really, again, it's just surprising to me um, that it looks really, really good. Um, I think for a majority of the time, again, I'm reaching down here to get this, this other, other uh, sculpt. I think for a majority of the time, I will probably use that particular one. So I'm going to change that back out here to this one. And this is probably the look I'll go with in my collection. Okay. Now, there are a couple of things that irritate me a little bit about this statue. Um, from here up to this line here, um, this is the Venom version. There is also a Mercenary version where he is uh, crossing his arms. This here, from this way up here, this was an extra $100 um, for this particular sculpt. Um, with the, the Mercenary Bane, um, again, the same legs, but it's a different top. Um, so I don't really mind the cost difference. What I was wanting from Prime 1 is I was hoping that they would do a set. Since the base is the same and the legs are the same, I wish they had done a, a, a collector set or something where both torsos were included. And I know there are a lot of other people that wish that as well. I would have really liked that um, so you can have more switch out options. Uh, maybe Prime 1 will offer that in the future. I would love to see that. I would, I would hope that they would maybe think about doing that. But again, that's, that's just one thing that kind of irritated me. I wish they would have had, um, had that second torso. Okay, so that's that part of it. Um, I said earlier that this is the second time that I filmed a review. And the reason why is because I, when I first got this guy and I first reviewed him, I was not going to keep him. I was going to either send him back or sell him because I felt like he just, he was just my least favorite in the collection. I just felt like he was somebody that I just, I didn't have a great attachment to. You know, I, I have that Bane back there in the background. Uh, I absolutely love that Bane by Sideshow. Um, and I, I felt like this one just didn't cut the mustard. Okay, so what I did is I put him in my collection. I sat on it for a couple of days. And every time I came up here, there was a couple times I'm like, nope, still going to sell it. Um, I'm still just kind of underwhelmed by him a little bit. <laughs> but here's the amazing thing. Every time I came up, I kept coming up to the Batcave, kept looking at him. I had conversations with my family. I started to like him more and more. I don't know why, um, but I now I really like him. Um, I think that he does fit into the collection well. I think it's just a matter of placing him next to the right statue. You know, which statue do I place him by? Um, right now I have him between Arkham Knight and Azrael, and I think it looks really good right there. So it's just really funny that I had a complete change of heart. Um, he still is probably my least favorite out of all of the ones I have. Um, again, I just have, I have all of these here. Um, he's my least favorite, but I'm still going to keep him. I feel like he fits in the collection. I think he's incredibly detailed. <clears throat> I think for me, like if I take this off, I feel like if I had it like this, I feel like maybe part of it was that his legs are just kind of straight. There's not much to them. But I feel like for me, I think it's the head sculpts. I think the head sculpts just kind of lack a little something. And I don't know exactly what that is. Um, but again, after sitting on it, after looking at him over and over again, I really do like him a lot. And I'm so glad that I'm keeping him. Um, and so I know a lot of people are out there, They this might be their favorite in the collection, I don't know. But I can tell you that I, after, you know, looking him over, after really pondering it, I am really glad I'm keeping him because he is full of detail and he looks cool. And I think, I think one of the reasons why I struggled so much was, again, that Sideshow Bane. Whenever I, you know, whenever I look at this Bane, 
that's Bane to me. You know, that is the Bane that I grew up with. That's the one I think about. Um, and so it's really hard when that statue is so amazing. It's really difficult for me to say, you know what, this, this just isn't the same looking Bane. It's very different. And of course it comes from the video game. But after pondering it, after thinking about it for a while, like I said, I am keeping this guy and I'm really glad that I am. So basically that is the review. Um, it's, it's surprising to me, um, but I wanted to be honest with all of you about the parts that I liked and the parts that I didn't like about this statue. Um, you know, I, again, if you love this statue, I'm really happy for you. Um, but again, I just wanted to be honest with all of you guys, and that's why I wanted to refilm this um, review because, again, statues can change your mind. Um, you know, certain days, the way light hits the statue, it can make a difference. But look at that. I mean, he just looks great. All right, guys, uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, again, please leave your comments down below. Let me know what you think. Do you agree with my points about this guy? Uh, do you think he's the greatest statue of all time? Uh, do you think that uh, he is one that you hate and you can't believe I bought this guy? Let me know your comments below. Uh, I would love to read them. And please give this video a like if you liked what you saw, and please subscribe if you haven't done so. As always, I thank you so much for watching. Bane will see you, yes you, <laughs> in the Batcave.